Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing in Sari.com. So from today onwards, I'm going to talk about behavior driven development. So this is the new series BDD framework. So we'll start the BDD framework, uh, framework from today onwards. So this is the first part of BDD framework. And guys, if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. So let's get started with the agenda. So we'll talk about the traditional approach versus TDD that is test driven development. We'll talk about what is BDD that is behavior driven development and we'll see the difference between TDD versus BDD. Basically TD comes, uh, TD, TDD, BDD framework comes from TDD. So we'll see the difference between what is uh, TDD and BDD and we'll talk about uh, how we can relate the BDD framework in, uh, in agile methodology and later on we'll talk about uh, Cucumber tool and Gherkin language and we'll see a BDD example. And later on we'll talk about some different uh, BDD tools available in the market. So let's get started with the first topic that is a traditional approach versus BDD. So how, uh, hap what happens in traditional approach? So a traditional development process would go as follows. So we'll basically we'll see like how it happens, uh, how the process goes in traditional approach, traditional development process. So the first point is business needs. Okay, so uh, stakeholders or product owners talks about uh, uh, the business needs, what their uh, requirement is. So the, they will write the uh, high-level document. They will create the high-level document that is BRD, business requirement document. We'll talk about what is BRD, SRS, and FRS uh, later as well. And later on, the second part is product owners write requirements based on those business needs. Okay, so they will convert that into SRS and FRS document. SRS is software requirement specification and FRS is functional requirement specification. And later on developers and tester comes into the picture. So developers will develop the code and later on tester will execute the code. So basically this is the traditional approach driven by coding uh, that is driven by coding. So firstly the coding uh, the development uh, team write the code and Later on, the tester will uh, create the test cases, and and then test case will be test case will be executed by the testing team. So this is how the traditional approach uh, goes: coding, testing, uh, test case creation, and execution. So what is BRD document? Uh, we have seen like BRD, SRS, and FRS. So BRD is business requirement document that comes in initiation phase. So why the requirement are being undertaken? So basically the question comes like uh, why the requirements are being undertaken? So that comes in uh, business requirement document. The second point is SRS software requirement specification. So that comes in planning phase. What requirements must be fulfilled to satisfy business needs? So the business which we have defined. So what are the requirements there in the uh, software? Uh, requirement specification so basically it talks about the software requirement specification the third comes is functional requirement okay so functional required requirement comes in frs document and that uh, comes in pl uh, planning phase only so how exactly the system is expected to function so these are the three di uh, different document uh, documentation so this is how the traditional approach goes guys uh, the first is coding testing uh, test case creation and then execution then what is TDD so th the name uh, says that test driven development it is driven by the test so the first point is business needs the second is create a collaborative space with developers and tester tools uh, so that they can talk about what they are going to develop together and the third point is during this phase they collaborate around the requirements and define them as English format scenarios and developers write code based on these scenarios and tester create automated test cases that report back against these scenarios so basically in test driven development what happens is first test cases are created first the uh, scenarios are defined and then run those test cases and definitely uh, those test cases will be uh, will fail right because uh, the development is not yet happened and later on based on the uh, the results they will write the 
code the developer will write the code to pass those test cases so this is how it goes in test driven development first test cases are created run those test cases to see the uh, the failure and then to fail those scenarios and then write the code according to those scenarios so what is bdd basically so bdd comes from tdd we'll see uh, th these are the different definition of bdd so behavior driven development is software development approach that has evolved from tdd so t uh, bdd comes from tdd tdd right test driven development behavior driven development is a branch of test driven development so this is another definition of uh, bdd it improves communication between tech and non tech teams and stakeholders so basically we will write the scenarios in bdd in uh, plain english format so that's uh, that's where there is uh, no uh, i mean communication is very strong between tech and non tech people so technical uh, non tech people can also understand the script very well because the script will be written in plain english in both development approaches tests are written ahead of the code so as we have seen in the previous uh, slides okay so test will be written ahead of the code in tdd or in bdd but in bdd tests are more user focused so this is the difference between bdd and tdd in bdd tests are more user focused and based on systems behavior okay so bdd is way of uh, way for software teams to work that closes the gap, uh, gap between business people and technical people so it reduces the uh, communication gap between technical and non technical people so that uh, uh, non technical people can uh, easily understand the uh, scripts as well bdd is more user focused as we have discussed earlier so uh, for this bdd user uh, use user stories for every feature to be tested uh, we'll see the example bdd use human readable descriptions of user requirements writing the scripts using gherkin language so we'll talk about what is this gherkin language so basically in bdd we'll write uh, we'll use the uh, 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 we'll, we are going to use the tool called uh, cucumber and in cucumber tool we are going to use the language gherkin language so we'll see how it goes i will write the script so what is the difference between tdd and bdd so bdd is in uh, is in a more readable format by every stakeholder since it is in english unlike tdd test cases is written in programming language such as ruby java etc so scripts are written uh, in different programming language using tdd but in bdd scenarios all scripts will be written in plain english format bdd explains the behavior of an application for the end user while tdd focuses on how the functionality how functionality is implemented changes on functionality can be accommodated with less impact in bdd as opposed to tdd so this is the difference between tdd and bdd so do not worry about the notes guys i'll uh, put in my blog that is automation testing center.com now how uh, we can relate bdd into agile methodology okay so agile what agile is agile works in small in increments of value like user stories so there are uh, uh, different uh, uh, increments right i mean uh, we'll divide uh, into sprints in agile methodology so bdd does not replace your existing agile process it enhances it okay so basically bdd enhances the agile methodology so bdd as a set of plugin for user uh, for your existing process that will make your team more able um, more able to deliver on promise promises of agile so bdd encourages working in rapid iterations continuously breaking down your users problem into small pieces that can flow through your development process as quickly as possible so basically bdd enhances the agile methodology so we'll talk about uh, agile methodology in detail in probably in separate videos i'll create a separate video on agile methodology as well later on so what is cucumber so we are going to use we are going to implement the bdd framework using cucumber tool so it is a testing tool that supports behavior driven development framework 
and it defines application behavior using simple english text defined by uh, defined by a language called gherkin language okay so we are going to use the language inside uh, this cucumber tool in this cucumber tool that is that language is called gherkin language so it uh, here you can see the definition of gherkin language what is gherkin language so it is a business readable domain specific language created especially for behavior descriptions so basically in uh, gherkin language we have uh, certain keywords like given when and and then so these are some of the keywords we are going to use in uh, a cucumber using gherkin language formula bdd example so this is the proposed template for writing bdd test cases for a user story which can be defined as follows so this is the simple script guys a uh, simple feature file i would say so at first we have this feature keyword so we'll define the feature over here description of the feature like what we are going to uh, what is our user story let's say we are going to uh, uh, test the login functionality so we'll write the description of the feature over here and these are the scenarios so in scenario part we'll cover those uh, keywords uh, using those keywords we'll write the scenarios given uh, so in given keyword what we are going to write is given a certain scenario which is prerequisite prerequisite or precondition of the uh, the scenario okay so in given keyword we are going to write the prerequisite or precondition i'll give an example in the next slide uh, in when keyword what we are going to use when an action take, uh, takes place basically this talks about uh, the action which we are going to perform the third would be and some more action so we have keyword called and and we'll perform some more action over here and then is the uh, expected outcome this should be the outcome expected result so these are the different keywords which we are going to use in bdd uh, framework and uh, this uh, this is the practical example would be feature check the login functionality so this is my uh, user story or uh, scenario or feature i would say check login functionality and these are the scenarios the first thing is okay so given the login screen is open so the, this is the precondition right uh, prerequisite and this is the second keyword when user enters username and password so this is my action and again i am going to perform another action in end part so end clicks on login button and last would be then user should navigate to home page after successfully login user should be navigated to home page so this is how it goes in uh, gherkin language this is how we write the scenarios uh, feature in feature file so what are the different tools available in the market uh, uh, to implement the bdd framework so cucumber is the topmost or important uh, i would say cucumber is test framework that supports bdd in cucumber the bdd specification are written in plain simple english which is defined by the gherkin language so which we talked about earlier in other words gherkin is a language that cucumber understands there is another tool called spec flow and we have jbehave test left jdev so these are the different keywords uh, different uh, bdd uh, bdd tools available in the market so we are going to use cucumber uh, we are going to implement this bdd using cucumber so in the next video guys uh, next part will will talk about uh, uh, the framework setup how we'll set up the bdd framework in selenium so using eclipse we'll set up this bdd framework and we'll integrate with selenium uh, scripts okay so thank you guys for watching and uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye hello friends welcome back to automation testing inside.com so this is the second part of bdd framework series and in the last video we talked about the theoretical stuff like what is bdd what is tdd and all those stuff we have seen in the last uh, video now today i'll show you how we can set up the first project using bdd how we can set up the bdd framework initially so already i have listed down the steps so these are the different steps to be followed so we'll see step by step how we can create the first bdd
project so let's get started uh, so my eclipse is already open here guys so what is the first step we need to follow create a maven project okay so let's create a maven project and later on in the second step we have to add different dependencies different dependencies like selenium java web driver manager cucumber java j unit cucumber j unit etc okay so let's create the maven project firstly so you can go to file you can uh, uh, create go to new or you can directly go from here as well project and uh, select this maven maven project next create a simple project so we'll create a simple project next and here you can uh, you need to provide the group id so i'll give cucumber setup or uh, cucumber project give the artifact id uh, same as group id click on finish now our project will be created over here here you can see cucumber project and we got a pom.xml so this is our pom.xml just open it now we need to add dependencies different dependencies okay as part of uh, uh, to create the bd framework so this is to write the selenium script and web driver manager is to launch the browser using web driver manager library so i'm not going to get the dependencies of uh, these two as of now so as of now we need this cucumber java so let me uh, get this cucumber java from maven repository so simply you can type on your browser cucumber java cucumber java maven repository like that you can type on google search uh, box and uh, you need to just click over here we need to download uh, we need to get the dependency from io.cucumber so just or simply you can type uh, here as well just search with cucumber java after opening this myvenrepository.com site you need to just to, uh, type cucumber hyphen java and uh, just click on this one cucumber jvm java io dot cucumber don't go with this one info dot cubes just go with this one cucumber jvm and you can see the latest version is 6.8.0 so just click on this and this is the dependency so just copy this dependency and here you need to just add dependencies tag not coming dependencies tag and inside dependencies tag you need to just put the io.cucumber dependency control shift and f it will arrange the pom.xml what we are going to do is uh, you just press the control s automatically it will download the dependencies my dependen dependencies you can see cucumber java 6.8.0 cucumber core so these are the different jar files you can download using this maven dependency now what is the next step we need to follow create a feature folder in src test resources so inside src test resources will create a folder called features so what you can do is we can right click over here and new and here we have other and folder click next and here we'll give the feature uh, the name of the folders so features i'll give features click on finish so our features folder is created and what is the next step create a new feature file right so how to create the feature file dot uh, i mean extension is extension is dot feature so just make sure you should have the dot feature extension so let me create a file inside this so new file and i'll give name as feature or i would better to give uh, first feature dot 
feature the extension should be dot feature first feature dot feature so this is my feature file first feature dot feature so click on finish now here you can see uh, you'll get this error I mean this window okay so editors available on the marketplace so as soon as you create this dot feature file so what uh, it will ask you your dot feature file was open in simple text editor okay so this is the simple text editor better editor support is available on the marketplace so it will uh, show this window pop up okay so show id extensions for this file type and let let in, uh, let me install them so simply what we can do is we can click on ok so it will uh, uh, showcase this uh, eclipse marketplace so manually you can go from uh, help help as well so let me yeah from here also you can go uh, eclipse marketplace so uh, already it is open now it will ask you to install this i mean you can install this cucumber eclipse plugin for uh, to look and feel okay so just install this cucumber eclipse plugin so click on install i think already i have written that in steps so let me open this yeah install cucumber eclipse plugin or natural plugin you can install natural plugin as well and restart the eclipse so we need to restart after the installation so let's have a look it is installing Now you have to uh, accept the uh, terms and condition, the license agreement, and click on finish. And uh, you have to see there. There is security warning, so you have to click on this install anyway. Here you can see installing software at 3% is completed. Now it will ask you to uh, restart the Eclipse. Now you'll see the change after the uh, restart. So here you can see the editor. Uh, I mean, it it shows the simple editor first feature dot feature, and you can see that simple text editor. Now when we restart, it will show you the cucumber uh, with cucumber logo. Okay, so just click on restart now. You can see the changes. Now these are project cucumber project. Just expand this. Now it's taking some time. Setup check. Yeah, so this is our project and uh, uh, SRC test researches resources. Inside that we have features. Now here you can see the file. Uh, uh, this logo has been changed, right? Uh, earlier it was normal uh, text file. Uh, uh picture now it is showing the cucumber picture okay so just click on this now this is our feature file okay now what i'll do i'll create another feature file and i'll show you there are default uh, settings already uh, will be there in that feature file so let me create another feature file file and let's say login login feature i'll give name like login feature dot dot feature click on finish now here you can see default it will show uh, you some uh, settings right i mean some 
the feature file contains already it will show so these are the uh, you can give uh, the comment like this uh, like hash and author you can give the author name keywords you can mention keyword summary feature a list of the scenarios you can list it down and uh, here you can see the uh, feature the title of the feature title of your feature i want to use this template for my feature file so you can use this template when we create the uh, feature file here you can see we we are going to use the tags as well so regarding the tags we'll discuss in uh, coming videos because we are going to see the basic basic uh, things today so we are not going to talk about the tags related things today and this is how we need to write the scenario so title of the scenario title of your scenario and there are uh, different keywords as we have seen in gherkin language right gherkin language we have seen given and when okay and then right so these are the different given when and then given when and and then so these are the different uh, keywords we are which we are going to use in cucumber bdd framework so given is uh, i want to write a step with pre precondition so this given is talks about the precondition prerequisite you can say and is uh, some more precondition and I complete the action so when is when we complete the action and then the I validate the outcomes so basically then talks about the outcomes or you can say the expected result so this is very good uh, uh, the template and here you can see the scenario outline so whenever we go for the parameterization we have to declare the scenario as scenario outline and here you can see the title of your scenario outline and uh, here you can see there are three parameters name value and status so using examples keyword we are passing the uh, different values like this so we'll see the parameterization later on right now we are going to see the simple uh, feature file okay so this is the template when we create the feature file automatically it will show you this default template okay now what i'll do just first feature just open this one now again you can see if i open this first feature it will show you the 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 default settings okay so let me do one thing i'll delete this first feature which i have created earlier one second yeah this one and rather we'll use this login feature so we have only one feature file login feature now what I'll do, I'll delete all these uh, stuff inside this. So first thing we'll write feature and colon feature and colon. So what is the feature we are going to write? Test the login functionality. of orange hrm so we'll take orange hrm application hrm application okay and the scenario again writes uh, colon and uh, what we can see test the test the valid valid login valid login that's fine now we'll write all the keywords so we'll we have different keywords given what is the precondition uh, given user user is on login page so this is the precondition user should be on login page given when user enters user enters user uh, user enters username and password so this is the second uh, for the when condition given when end so we uh, will write some more condition when user enters username and password and click on login button login button or sign button and then what should be the outcome so after clicking on login button what should be the outcome will write 
what what is the expected result okay so we'll write a uh, user should land on home page so this is the simple feature we have created over here simple scenario we have created so this is the feature of uh, uh, the application which we are going to test test the login functionality of orange hrm application okay and this is the scenario test the valid login and these are the steps which we are going to perform now let me try to run this uh, feature file so just right click and run as cucumber feature you will see the option over here cucumber feature so just click on uh, run it now here you will see uh, it will ask you uh, this is the scenario test the login valid login and uh, here you can see the steps which we have written right given user is on login page so it shows here null null null, null, null uh, all are null so undefined scenarios so whatever scenarios we have written those are undefined so we have to define the uh, each and every step like what we are going to perform action on that particular step because we have just written the plain english in plain english language we have written the scenarios like what are the scenarios which we are going to perform what are the steps okay so it will throw an error uh, saying that or you can say the warning so this is undefined scenario so we have one scenario and that is undefined and four steps are there three skipped and one undefined because it will check the first step and which is undefined right so it will skip the other uh, three steps so you can implement missing steps with snippets below so we need to write the backend code to provide the uh, the code the script for each and every steps whatever we have written over here so for that it gives the proper message over here you can implement missing steps with the snippets below so what i'm going to do is i'll simply copy uh, these lines of code okay which is given so we have to define each and every steps by writing the script so let me show you the next step create a new feature file which already we have done write scenarios in the feature file so scenarios also we have written and run the feature file this also we have seen create a step definition class or glue code under src test java package now we have to create the step definition for all these steps which we have written so we have to define all these steps right as we have discussed earlier so what we'll do inside src test java i'll create a package called com dot step definition com dot step definition click on finish so this is the uh, package inside that what we are going to do is we'll create a class create step definition class or glue code okay so simply we'll create a class over here step definition i'll give or simply login steps i'll give name as login steps and uh, click on finish and inside that what we are going to do so these are the step definition right so simply copy all the uh, given when for all these steps we have to copy the you can manually write as well but uh, since it gives suggestions so simply you can copy from here as well now put it over here now here you can see given when uh, again it is coming when so this is the problem i guess with the latest version of cucumber uh, java i guess so simply what i'll give i'll change it to and and keyword now we have to import all these given when all these uh, keywords so given all these annotations so given and when from io.cucumber.java and and as well and then 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 so all are done now what we are going to do is we have to write the steps like user is on login page so simply you can delete the the earlier steps which are there inside uh, these methods
so guys if you see in this login feature we have this given condition is the, this right user is on login page so similarly we have to create the method related to uh, whatever we have written in the given condition so user is on login page so here you can see corresponding method is created user is on login page so you have to keep this method name like this user enters username and password click on login button so like that you have to define the uh, separate methods separate method in uh, step definition okay so now we have to write the uh, the actual code the actual backend code so what we are going to do is i'll define the web driver and for that now i need now i need selenium java dependencies jar files and web driver manager now what i am going to do i'll get the uh, dependencies from here selenium java dependencies from my repository site so i'll take these uh, stable version these are the alpha version the four uh, uh, version of selenium is uh, all or alpha version so this is the stable one now i'll take the uh, dependency over here from here and i'll put it over here in my pom.xml like this and what is the next uh, i need uh, this web driver manager as well to launch the browser simply we'll use uh, web driver manager so you can manually download the uh, web driver you can do in that way you can set up but uh, i'm going to use web driver manager library so just click on this web driver manager and this is the latest version we can take 4.2.2 and uh, it will uh, download the uh, this web driver manager from this bonnie garcia api so simply copy this dependency and put it over here Control shift and f so it will arrange all the dependencies now just do control s so it is right now now i think everything is downloaded you can see inside this cucumber java is already we have there selenium java selenium java is there and uh, web driver manager as well so all jar files are downloaded now what we are going to do is in the steps file in this login steps what we are going to do is first we'll uh, uh, define the web driver over here why it is giving error one second what happened yeah web driver driver declare the web driver at top and now web driver manager dot chrome driver let's run our script on chrome driver chrome browser setup like this and uh, driver is equal to new chrome driver so this will automatically uh, set up your driver so no need to install manually uh, the chrome driver and this to launch the browser now driver dot get and let's take the url of uh, orange hrm application so this is my blog guys automation testing insider.com and just if you see this demo websites so you'll find different uh, website demo websites over here we are going to see about the orange hrm so this is the url of orange hrm like this and uh, yeah at top you can write some comment as well like this what we are going to write is step one user is on login page correct and uh, yeah so it will launch the browser let's maximize the window as well manage dot window dot maximize 
and in the second method what we are going to write user enters username and password so so I have to inspect username and password right click and inspect so we can take this ID as text username so simply write driver dot find element by dot ID and put the uh, the ID which we got and send keys will provide the right now I am hard coding the values later on will parameterize that send keys dot admin so admin is the user here you can see and password is admin123 so similarly for password driver dot find element by dot ID will see what is the ID of uh, password txt password is the uh, ID and send keys password is admin123 so this is about the uh, second step and here I'll write some message uh, what is the message we are going to write in the first step we have written step 1 user is on login page and second one is user enter enters username and password okay so this is the second step I'll put second and now this is the third step click on login button okay so simply driver dot find element by dot let's inspect uh, the login button so we have class we have ID we have name anything we can take so I'll take uh, by dot name and I'll put the name over here dot click what happened uh, double, double, final, second. one more bracket will come over here oh, something is wrong find element by dot name Uh, this is fine click dot click so when we click on this login button user will be login into the application so yeah and here I'll write the steps uh, step 3 what I'm going to write here is user is clicking clicking on login button like this we can write correct so this is the uh, third step now what would be the fourth step user should be land on home page so simply we can give some message over here user is on home page user lands on lands on home page and at the end will close the browser driver dot close so this is how we can define our uh, step definition in BDD okay so in feature file we have written all these steps in plain English so everyone can understand the technical and non-technical people basically uh, non-technical people can easily understand these things right so user is on login page user enters username and password and click on login button and user enters user should land on page and written definition we have written to define each and every steps over here now this is done what I'm going to do is now we can run this feature file again right click and run as cucumber feature now it should run successfully this time let's have a look so it will launch the browser maximize it and uh, click on 
yeah it will navigate to orange hrm application admin and then password click on login button and then it will close the browser so successfully we have executed and uh, here you can see you can see the console as well given user is on lo login page so this is the given condition and uh, where is the first step where is the first yeah first step is here test the valid login so this is the first step user is on login page given user is on login page step 2 is user enters username and password when user enter username and password like this and step 3 user is clicking on login button and click on login button okay so this is how you can write the uh, step definition now let's say if you have multiple feature files and uh, we have corresponding step definitions as well okay so uh, to uh, execute all the feature files we need to create a runner class right right now we have only one feature file so we can easily run the feature file uh, file from here now let's say if you have multiple feature files so in that case we have to create a runner class so for that what we are going to do is you can see in the next step create a runner package class okay so we'll create a runner package uh, in this src test java only so right click and uh, package com dot uh, let's say runner click on finish and here I'll create a runner class and on top of it guys you need to just write a couple of things uh, at the rate run with so this is the first first uh, what you can say annotation you need to write run with and cucumber dot class inside that we have to write cucumber dot class like this and the second thing is you have to write cucumber options second annotation cucumber options like this cucumber options and inside that you have to define the feature files so let me just copy on these features like this so do not worry uh, guys I'll provide the uh, these steps in the description box of this video so now here you can see we have cucumber options features so our feature features inside this SRC test resources only features let me show you here we have features this features folder and in this glue code we have to define the step definition so what is the step definition we have com dot step definition so com dot step definition so here we have written the same now we have to do uh, one thing uh, this run with at the rate run with because we are going to run our uh, script using JUnit so that's the reason we required now this dependency cucumber j unit so just copy this cucumber j unit and uh, search in memory repository library and we need one more uh, dependency that is j unit of course you need j, j unit but uh, right now i can see this j unit is coming over here so i no need to uh, I mean uh, download the jar files for JUnit so what I'll do if you don't see this option you manually you can uh, write the jar files okay so JUnit so this one in 4.cubes not this one cucumber JVM JUnit so you have to just click on this one io.cucumber 6.8.0 so this is the dependency for uh, cucumber j unit and uh, just come back to pom.xml and add the dependency over here control shift f to arrange now it will download the uh, cucumber j unit building workspace 100 unit is completed now come to this runner now you have to import just mouse over here and import run with org 
dot j unit dot runner here you can see and uh, cucumber options as well cucumber options from io dot cucumber dot j unit so these two are done now what you can do is cucumber dot class what you need to do you have to just control shift and o so automatically it will add this io dot cucumber j unit cucumber options sorry this one io dot cucumber dot j unit dot cucumber and that error will be gone so this is how you can add uh, the runner class you can create and there are different options over here you can add will uh, i'll showcase you uh, when we go forward when we proceed further i'll showcase you each and everything so let me just run this no need to write uh, write anything inside this runner class so simply it will run our script based on the feature file which we have given what are the feature files feature files are there inside this features folder and this is the uh, step definition uh, uh, what you can say uh, the package okay now simply right click and run as JUnit test some error is coming what is happened user is on login page, page is undefined what is coming like this cucumber class and uh, src test resources features step definition give the exact step definition over here the name of the step definition I think it's same only now let me try again run as JUnit test now that is fine there was some problem with uh, the there is there was some misspelling mistake i guess now browser is launched yeah, enter username and password this is the home page now it will click uh, close the browser so now here you can see this is the successfully we got uh, uh, we have one test case here you can see in the console as well user is on login page step 1 step 2 is user enters username and password user is on click in login button user lands on home page I think we have not written the step 4 in the comment so that's fine and here you can see inside this uh, JUnit uh, tab test the login functionality of orange HRM so if you see this feature file this is the name of the feature test the login functionality of orange HRM and if you expand this test the login valid login so this is the name of the scenario and you can create multiple scenarios inside this uh, feature file so let me create uh, let me just copy paste this one and here I'll show test the valid uh, login let's say I'll give test the valid login one and we have all these uh, definition uh, the steps already defined in login steps okay I'm just I have just copy paste uh, the previous scenario to showcase like we can create multiple scenarios inside a feature file now what I'll do inside runner class simply run as JUnit test so it will run the test case two times the login test So this is the second time it is running.
success, successfully executed now here you can see if you go to this JUnit expand this and here you can see the couple of uh, scenarios over here test the valid login test the valid login one so this is how you can uh, set up the uh, the first BDD framework project and uh, going forward I'll showcase you some more features some more uh, I mean different features of this BDD framework we will uh, learn so many things going forward so this is all for today guys thank you for watching have a nice day and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it uh, share the videos among your friends thank you so much bye bye hello friends welcome back to automation testing salary.com so this is the third part of a BDD framework series and today we are going to talk about different cucumber options which we are going to configure in our runner class so let's have a look at the agenda so uh, today we'll talk about different cucumber options and I'll move this project into github so you can refer the code and uh, we'll discuss like why we have used JUnit, uh, JUnit over uh, test engine cucumber and yeah these are the different uh, cucumber options which we are going to use today and uh, let me just recap like what we have discussed in the last video so my eclipse is already opened here and this is the project which we have created cucumber project and inside this uh, src test resources we have features uh, folder there we have created login feature and we have created one uh, this is the feature keyword and this is the name of our feature test the login functionality of orange hrm application we have seen the login uh, functionality in the last video and here we have created a scenario this is one scenario test the login valid login uh, and these are the different keywords we have seen given when and then user is on login page uh, user enters username and password click on login page uh, click on login button and user should land on home page so this is what we have seen uh, uh, this is what we have created the scenario and this is just for reference we have created another scenario like uh, we can create multiple scenarios so this is the same uh, scenarios which we have listed uh, above just I have changed the name to uh, login one and uh, yeah we have corresponding we have step definition so this is just backend code like what is whatever the steps we have written over here we need to write the uh, selenium script right so here we have written the uh, complete script this simple script uh, like what we used to do in selenium we have done this in the same way so we have written the corresponding uh, step definition inside this login steps uh, class okay guys and we have another runner class uh, though we can run our uh, uh, project from here uh, we can run our program from here run as cucumber feature file but uh, if in case if you have multiple feature file then we need to run through this runner class so this is our runner class from here we can run the uh, this uh, project this class using JUnit test so this is how we can do now today we'll discuss different cucumber options we'll configure in this runner class so we'll have a look and guys uh, if you go to my blog that is automation testing .com, and just navigate to this automation tools and uh, yeah, here here you'll see selenium cucumber java bdd framework and uh, this is the post which i have created introduction to behavior driven development framework so i'll create all the bdd related uh, post over here so you can refer the notes from here here you can see this is the first part which we have discussed earlier and guys if you are new to my channel then please subscribe uh, the channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos and uh, if you uh, are new to this blog as well so please follow using this follow button so let me come back uh, to this cucumber options so these are the cucumber options which we are going to discuss the so first one is features which we have already seen in the last video here you can see cucumber options and here we have defined the features so this is one of the options and here we have to define the uh, path of our features uh, where we have where we reside our features file we need to just give the path of our features file so we'll see over here to locate the feature file in the project folder structure so we need to just define the uh, uh, features file path over here 
and this is another uh, option glue it helps cucumber to locate the step definition file so where it is located com dot step definition so we need to just give the the package in the uh, main folder name over here com dot step definition here you can see and it will consider all the uh, login uh, whatever steps we have it will pick from here now what is the next uh, monochrome so what it does is uh, this option can either set as true or false and if it is set as true it means that the console output for the cucumber test are much more readable true or false so true uh, values are true or false so to get a readable a good format we need to use this uh, we are going to use this monochrome so let me use this chrome is equal to true and uh, here we have to give the one second like that we have to use and at the end of this we have to use the colon semicolon colon and uh, yeah monochrome is equal to true uh, but before that let me make it uh, false and we'll run our uh, this runner file so let me run it login steps are fine yeah let me just run it user is on login page step one so yeah browser is launched it will navigate to orange hr application and uh, yeah enter the username and password and this is the home page it will close the browser and again this is the second case uh, which we have written second scenario yeah so now here you can see uh, some unwanted uh, oh, this question mark is coming right if you see so to remove that what we are going to do is uh, we'll make it uh, true so we'll get the good console output here you can see if you see uh, these are the question marks uh, mark are coming over here some unwanted okay so let me just rerun it again entering username and password close the browser this is the second case this kind of parameterization but uh, i'll show you how to do the parameterization in the next video yeah now you can see uh, those questions question mark is not coming in the box so you'll get the good console if you use monochrome is equal to true and if you have more uh, uh, scenarios then you'll easily identify uh, like why do we use monochrome is equal to true or, uh, how do we see the uh, console output okay so this is only couple of scenarios so you cannot identify but here you can see those uh, uh, question mark are not coming in the box now what we are going to do here is uh, if you see there is no uh, what you can say the number of scenarios in the console output is not coming like uh, two scenarios we have executed but it is not showing the uh, the console in the console output like how many uh, scenarios are there how many steps are there so for that i think there is a problem with the latest version of uh, cucumber uh, java so let me open this pom.xml so we have used this cucumber java 6.8.0 which is the latest version I think we need to use the older version and another one is uh, this one as well cucumber j unit so we need to update these two so let me uh, search in the malware repository so just go to google 
and just type cucumber java malware repository and uh, yeah this io dot cucumber this is the 2.0.0 so just click on this one cucumber java now here you'll see and make sure guide, uh, guys uh, you should go this io dot cucumber uh, don't go with this info dot cubes cubes and uh, yeah here you can see we have latest version 6.8.0 6.8.1 now I'm going to you can try 6.8.1 I didn't try this one so you can try this one but I'm going to use uh, 5.7.0 uh, the older version which uh, when last time we, when I have used so it was working correctly so 5.7.0 so let me update so this is the beauty of uh, a Marvin project guys uh, you can easily easily update the version 5.7.0 and similarly we'll update for uh, cucumber j unit as well so this should be also the same version so let me search again and cucumber jvm j unit sorry we have to go to this one cucumber jvm j unit io.cucumber and here you can see so we should have the same version 5.7.0 so i'll update over here as well 5.7.0 7.0 now do control s building workspace here you can see now i think it is done you can check in my one dependency as well so what i'm going to do now again i'll run uh, this uh, runner class run as uh, j unit test browser is launched navigate it to orange hrm url application and uh, entering username and password yeah here you can see now in the console output uh, you don't see any unwanted uh, characters or uh, that question mark now and uh, here you can see the 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 conclusion of the uh, uh, conclusion of our test like how many scenarios are there two scenarios two passed eight steps are there right eight passed and this is the time taken during the test and uh, yeah so these are the uh, the messages which we have given so this is how you can update the version and uh, yeah please try with the latest version this 6.8.1 which we have we haven't tried 6.8.1 last time we have tried 6.8.0 and in case if it is not working then you can use this 5.7.0 now what i am going to do the next thing is uh, plugin okay so plugin option is used to specify different formatting options for the output reports so we are going to generate the reports now okay so how to generate the reports so this is the uh, the code which we need to write inside our uh, runner class the option and uh, what i'm going to do just colon and uh, comma and then uh, we have to write this plugin plugin option is there and inside this bracket you have to write, write which format you want let's say html the first one first one we'll see in the html uh, format and then folder name so what we are going to do we'll create one folder inside this cucumber project new and folder i'll see uh, i'll write like reports i'll give the name like reports and click on finish and just go to properties we have to give path like this cucumber project one second we have to give like this HTML folder name i think no need to give uh, cucumber project let's have a look cucumber project and uh, reports inside that we want uh, 
yeah automatically it will generate index.html so i think this should work so let's have a look let me rerun it again right click uh, run as junit test Now let, let me refresh the project. Why it is not coming? I think we need to just give reports like this and uh, I'll give inside HTML reports. Hopefully it should work this time around. I report the folder name we have to give like this we can give and what is the second yeah let's try with this one run as JUnit test yeah it is executed let me refresh the project now here you can see reports HTML reports are there and this index.html so let me copy this and open in browser and here you will see the reports like this so this is scenario 1 and this is scenario the second scenario so this is how you can get the uh, HTML report this is the feature test the login functionality of orange HRM and if you expand you can see those scenarios so this is about the HTML reports guys and uh, there are two more reports we have just uh, json file and uh, this one as well junit so what we are going to do you can use comma and uh, simply uh, write like uh, json the format which you want and uh, inside reports you can copy paste like this and instead of uh, JSON reports, report JSON reports and uh, JSON, sorry, JSON reports inside reports. Uh, let's give a cucumber dot JSON format. Okay, this is how you can get. And for the last one we want uh, this one as well cucumber.xml junit format so what you can do junit reports junit report and cucumber.xml so this is how you can give cucumber.json cucumber.xml let's have a look whether uh, it will generate uh, the xml and json formats as well uh, or not so right click and run as junit test Yeah, let me refresh the project. 
now here you can see json reports and junit reports so if you open like this here you can see and this is cucumber.json so you'll see uh, and key and value pair right and it will ask you to uh, download the editor so if you want you can go to marketplace and you can download this editor to view this uh, json file for now i'm just closing it so here you can see key and value pair line one elements like this and this is the this is how you can get the report in uh, json format and the second is cucumber.xml if you open it let me open in browser it will be like this yeah this is how you can get the xml format and uh, if you go to this junit tab here you can see valid login valid login one so two scenarios are there now what is the next one dry run so this is another option so it will check if all these steps have uh, the step definition or not okay so let me do that so this is very important dry run option and i'll keep like uh, true Let's see no comma over here like this so if you keep dry run is equal to true then what happens we'll see okay so just right click and run as jrit test so you can see guys uh, simply it will check uh, check whether uh, all the step definition present or not whether we have written all these step definition or not checks if all these steps have the step definition so here you can see two scenarios two is skipped because uh, it checks whether uh, we have those uh, step definition or not okay eight steps eight is skipped and if you see this j unit here you can see it will just check in green color whether we have uh, all these step definition or not now what i am going to do let's comment one of the step steps over here okay so let's comment this one and we'll see what happens uh, remove block comment oh, sorry add block comment so we have commented one of the steps and now i'll run it again this runner class and we have dry run is equal to true so let's see what happens j unit test now here you can see the difference if you see this j unit test and here you can see i can't see anything yeah here from here one exception is coming here you can see the step user enters username and password is undefined so one of the steps is not defined okay and in console also you can see undefined scenarios so this is the file name uh, the given number three the test the valid login and test the valid login so these are the scenarios the line number so let me open uh, third this is the third scenario uh, in third line number third and this is the tenth so couple of steps are not defined okay so two scenarios two undefined eight steps six skipped because six uh, steps are defined and two are undefined and it is given a, a very good uh, uh, this uh, method as well automatically you can implement missing steps with uh, with snippets given below so this is what we need to implement so this is the code snippet given okay so this is the beauty of this dry run so you can check your code before uh, executing the code you can simply you can run this dry run uh, is equal to true and you can check your code and if you make it uh, false then it will simply it will run execute the test cases and it will fail based on the whether you have created all these steps or not uh, or uh, whether your test cases are getting uh, passed or fail based on that it will execute basically when you keep false that means it will not check the dry run so what i'll do i'll uh, just uh, uncomment this okay and what is the next uh, strict we have 
so will fail the execution if there are undefined or pending steps okay so let's keep uh, strict as well is equal to true and uh, I'll make it false this one will not check dry run and uh, what happens when we have this true strict as true will fail the execution if there are undefined or pending steps so right now it's true and uh, but we have all these step definition are defined right so let me just run it Now here you can see it simply it will run the execution when we have this uh, strict is equal to true. Now what I'll do I'll simply comment uh, one of these steps and we'll see add block comment and uh, go to run a class run it again. So it will simply fail the test case it will not I think it will not execute the complete test. Oh, sorry it will execute the complete steps and it will fail the the particular step yeah here you can see we are not able to uh, entering the username and password because of the uh, we have committed that particular step so here you can see now it will give this uh, message as well you can implement missing steps with snippets snippets given below okay so two scenarios two undefined four skip two defined two passed okay so it will execute the test case basically if we have this strict is equal to true so this is about the strict guys and let me just uh, uncomment come back here and I'll remove this strict for now or you can keep it no problem and what is the next let me close these browsers and what is the next tax so about the tax which uh, I'll create the separate videos on tax I'll show you what do you mean by tag so let me create another feature file so new and file test dot feature click on finish so here you can see this is the new feature file so you'll you'll see yeah so these are the scenarios this is the feature title of your feature and this is the tag at feature level and this is at scenario level tag 1 tag and tag 1 tag 2 like this so this is nothing but uh, it is given over here what tag in the feature file should be executed so you can define your test cases this is kind of groups in uh, selenium uh, context if I talk about so you can divide your test cases in different uh, tags like uh, smoke sanity or whatever uh, tags you are going to define so based on that it will execute your case uh, so I'll create a separate video uh, on these tags don't worry about that we have examples keyword as well so we'll see the parameterization in the next video and probably we'll uh, discuss uh, tags afterwards after that so let me close this and I'll delete uh, this test dot feature for now and what is next I think we are done now let's move this project into github so you can refer the code so cucumber project right click and we have team share project uh, first of all let me just create repository So GitHub, I log in into my GitHub account, sign into GitHub. I think I already signed in. So I'll create a new repository over here. Click on new button and I'll give name like Cucumber Project. I'll give, I'll select public and just click on create repository. 
yeah, repository is done this is the URL just copy this URL now what is next I'll right click this cucumber project from Eclipse and team share project and we need to create the local repository and uh, what I'll do I'll give name over here cucumber project and next time whenever uh, we'll create a new uh, code over here I'll check in into this github account and click on finish and yeah this is the git initialized so click on finish uh, no problem click ok click on finish yeah now this question mark comes over here now right click and uh, team now you'll see this commit option click on commit and just click on this plus plus sign now here you can write first commit and just click on commit and push now here you'll see uh, we have copied this URL and this is our uh, repository the center repository which we have created cucumber project so automatically it will come when we copy copied it from here on clipboard okay so just click on next next master branch it will go and you need to enter your uh, github uh, credentials click on finish you need to enter one more time username and password github username and password login yeah it is done repository this is the repository and it went to this master branch click close now if you refresh this repository you here you can see cucumber project and you can refer the code from here src test and this is the feature from here you can refer okay guys and the question you might ask like why JUnit over test engine cucumber so basically uh, JUnit is very much com uh, compatible with uh, BDD or uh, TDD framework and easily we can configure using this uh, runner class which I have shown you this runner class easily we can configure the JUnit test and still if you want to use uh, uh, test ng then we can do that no problem but we need to create a separate uh, runner class for that so probably at the end of this series uh, probably will create a video on how to create cucumber bdd framework using test ng so we'll have a look into that okay so this is for uh, this all for today guys uh, in the next video we'll talk about uh, the parameterization probably and then uh, tags and some other features in this bdd framework so I would uh, request please uh, like and share uh, this video and if you are new to my channel then please uh, subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Hello friends. Welcome back to automation testing Saturday.com. So this is the fourth part of Cucumber BDD framework series and as part of this LNM Cucumber BDD framework with Java. Today we are going to talk about data driven testing like how we can parameterize our test in cucumber uh, we are going to see today so if you don't know about uh, data driven testing like how we can parameterize our test then please refer the previous videos uh, which i have created as part of selenium series so if you go to my uh, channel that is automation testing insider.com automation testing insider just navigate to this playlist and here i have created a separate playlist on uh, data driven testing Excel and data driven framework so you can understand like what is what do you mean by data driven framework what is data driven testing and parameterization so I'll provide the link in the description box guys you can refer the uh, description box of this video and uh, we are coming back to uh, today's agenda so today we are going to talk about this data driven testing in cucumber so this is the agenda for today so basically we can parameterize our test in four ways in cucumber 
so parameterization uh, parameterization using without using example keyword so this is the first way we can do that and there are certain regular ex expression we have to use so probably regarding the regular expression i'll create the separate video and we can understand about this like regular expression so this is how you need to follow and the second way is data driven testing in cucumber using scenario outline using examples keyword okay and uh, yeah uh, these two things which we are going to cover today parameterization without example keyword and uh, uh, parameterization uh, or data driven testing in cucumber using scenario outline and regarding uh, this is the third uh, way we can do that parameterization using data table and this is the fourth part data driven testing cucumber using external files so you can read the data from excel file external excel file or json file or xml file so this is the fourth way to do uh, parameterization so regarding these two points uh, parameterization using data table and uh, external files how we can do using external files we'll uh, uh, look later on so basically today we'll concentrate on uh, concentrate on the uh, first two topics first two points so let's get it started so what is uh, what is cucumber data driven testing so if I explain in simple terms cucumber data driven testing means that you can pass data from cucumber feature files to your test cases for example let us consider that you are automating the login flow of some application as you have seen in previous videos uh, we have we have automated the login functionality where we need to enter username and password so we can parameterize those uh, we can automate we can parameterize those uh, username and password by passing the parameters username and password okay from feature file so in this case you can pass username and password as test data from your feature file to selenium code so this is what we can do today uh, data driven testing okay so let's uh, look the uh, project which we have created so this is the project which we have created guys cucumber project and uh, if i navigate to src test java and this is our runner uh, class and in the last video we talked about different cucumber options like we have seen features glue monochrome plugin dry run and streak so these are the different options which we discussed in the last video and previous videos we have created a simple script to login functionality so this is our step definition file uh, login steps class where we have simply written the selenium script and this is the uh, script to enter the username and password so here you can see we have hard coded the values we have providing the username and password and this is our feature file inside src test resources uh, we have features uh, folder there we have created uh, this login feature uh, feature file and this is the feature test the login second test the login functionality of orange hrm application and this is our scenario test the valid login by entering the username and password so these are the different uh, steps which we have written and simply we have just for an example we have created another scenario in the same feature uh, feature file i wanted to showcase uh, we can write multiple scenarios in simple files so that's the reason i have created uh, this scenario as well so we can remove this because this is the same steps which we have written above so for now i am going to remove this and already i have uh, checked this code in my github so you can refer uh, i'll provide the link in the url this github uh, url now we have one scenario and uh, let's automate uh, let's uh, parameterize using the first method that is parameterization without example keyword so how we can do that so let me go to login steps now what we are going to do here is uh, if you see we have to use certain uh, regular expression over here but before that uh, yeah here you can see we have hard coded the values right and what i am going to do here is instead of uh, putting the username over here i mean writing this step what we are going to do is we are going to pass the data from feature file so simply i'll pass the data from here so we have to use double uh, quotes and in that we have to pass admin and what is our password admin123 
so this is our username and this is password now how our uh, script will understand this right so for that we have to use the regular expression and here uh, I have explained like there are two ways we can use this uh, regular expression to understand our script what we have written in feature file to understand our scenario so I'll provide uh, this regular expression and the complete steps in uh, uh, ex description box of this video guys so let's use these the first one you can use the second one as well anything is fine I am going to use till here so login steps once again I'll simply I'll copy from here yeah I'll copy the entire thing and I'll put it over here like this user enters make sure the spelling is correct user enters and you should have user enters over here admin and instead of this admin and admin123 what we are going to use a regular expression like this I think this is done yeah it's correct and uh, so we need to pass couple of parameters admin and admin123 so for that we need in this method we need couple of parameters right so I'll use string username and string password like this we can use and instead of uh, hard coding uh, hard coded values like admin simply will pass this variable over here you name the parameter and password like that uh, like this we can do right guys so we are done uh, whatever changes required in our selenium script we have done we have changed the uh, we have used the regular expression to understand our scenario our feature file and uh, we have passed couple of parameters because we are passing couple of parameters from here okay so let me run this so this is our run class so we can simply run using right click and uh, run as the unit test so, so let's have a look whether it is working or not browser is launched it will navigate to orange HRM application and hopefully it will yeah now you can see it enters username and password clicked on sign in button now sign out uh, I mean close the browser here you can see uh, one scenario one passed four steps four passed and this is the time taken if you go to this J unit here you can see successfully uh, the test cases is passed and if you see the reports so right click and uh, refresh your uh, project reports we have seen the reports in the last video which I have created so let's have a look these uh, HTML report So here you can see guys uh, user enters admin and admin123 so uh, test the login functionality of orange HRM so this was our this was our uh, feature now the second thing is data driven testing in cucumber using scenario outline so how we can do using scenario outline so so whenever you create a new feature file so automatically it will it it will tell you that uh, how to use uh, it will basically it, it uh, uh, some format is already there so let me show you test dot feature test dot feature predefined format is there when we create the new feature file so here you can see so in feature file you can comment using hash and author keywords and all and here you can see uh, this is simple scenario and this is using scenario outline so to use to parameterize the test using the second uh, second part you need to use scenario outline instead of scenario this is the, uh, the given uh, scenario outline and we need to use examples keyword to pass our data and you can differentiate the first part we can only pass uh, 
whatever parameters we are going to pass like uh, one set of test data we can pass using the first method now in second example uh, second example we can pass multiple test uh, sets of test data so how, how we are going, going to do that right so what we are going to do so here you can see instead of this admin i would write first of all we need to change scenario to scenario outline like this uh, this o should be uh, in caps okay and here user enters user name so this is one parameter and the second parameter would be password and now using examples keyword we have to pass certain parameters certain uh, test data right and we have to use the pipeline symbol like this here you can see pipeline symbol name value and status now here what we are going to use uh, username and password so I'm going to pass admin and uh, admin 123 so this is first set of test data and second is admin let's write admin 123 or let's say admin one only and the uh, password is admin 1234 like this and just right click and use pretty format to arrange rearrange the code okay or you can use a control shift F as well now let me delete this this one do we need uh, one second yeah that's fine so this is done now we have to change the login steps as well in login step definition we have to use this uh, we have to little bit change in the uh, expression as well so you can see in the ppt i have used simply user enters uh, this dot star and dot star over here as well so no need of this double quote and uh, slash mark simply you can use like this this should work and nothing uh, no need to change over here because we are passing the couple of parameters so it will pick the parameters uh, username and password and it will pass in our code so this should work so let me run it whether it is working or not so runner right click and run as JUnit test browser is launched it will navigate to orange HRM application now couple of parameters we have passed so okay it is not working So let me see the reports. Uh, there is okay. Okay, so we have to give. Sorry, I forgot one thing over here. We have to provide the first parameter as uh, uh, this one: username and password. Okay, so simply we have to give the column name. I forgot to give the column name: username and uh, this would be password like this. Control shift F now this uh, should be okay now username we have and a password so it will run two times couple of times because uh, the first time I forgot to mention the login uh, the column names username and password so let's uh, rerun it again uh, runner and uh, right click run as JUnit test Here you can see it logged in with your admin and admin123. 
so successfully logged in this is the second uh, set of test cases uh, test case second test uh, set of test data so browser is launched admin 1 and since that is uh, invalid login so that's why uh, not able to log into the application but since we haven't put any assertion so that's why our test case is passed here you can see two scenarios two passed eight steps because for login functionality uh, you can see in this login we haven't used any assertion so that's the reason uh, both the test cases got passed so you can see here as well test the valid login test the valid login so couple uh, two times right and if you see the reports over here here now you can see username and password and this is the uh, the data which we have passed admin admin 1 2 3 admin 1 and admin 1 2 3 4 so this is how you can parameterize your test uh, in cucumber guys uh, so two ways we have seen today and uh, parameterization using data table we'll see in the next video and let me check in the code into github so you can uh, refer the code so right click and team commit data driven testing commit and push it will ask for the credentials Yeah, it is done now let me see the second data driven testing here, here you can see the second commit data driven testing so you can refer the code and so that's it for today guys uh, in the next video we'll talk about uh, data table so thank you for watching have a nice day and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and still if you have any doubts then please comment uh, your uh, doubts in the comment section of this video thank you thank you so much for watching have a nice have a nice day bye bye hello friends welcome back to automation testing .com. so this is the fifth part of uh, selenium cucumber bdd framework with java and this is the continuation video of data driven testing which we have started in the last video so let's have a look like what we are going to discuss today so in the last video we talked about parameterization without example keyword and using example keyword uh, in scenario outline right so these are the things which we have discussed in the last video and today I'll talk about uh, how we can parameterize our test using data table in cucumber so let's get started so my Eclipse is already opened here and this is our project cucumber project and uh, let me open our uh, login steps and we have runner class and our feature file right so we have uh, login features this login feature we have and this is the test feature let me delete this uh, we don't need so just for our reference we have created this last time so simply I am going to delete this so this is what we have implemented in the last video we have seen uh, without using example keyword without using example keyword and using examples keyword and I'll show you the difference like what is the difference when we have the data table uh, and how it is different from a scenario outline and example keyword without using example keywords okay so we'll discuss about uh, those points as well so what I'm going to do here is uh, to implement the data table I am going to have one more feature file copy simply I'm copying this login feature file and I simply put it over here and I'll change the name to data table click on ok so we have couple of uh, feature files over here one is login feature existing file and this is what we have created and to implement this uh, uh, data table what we are going to do we are going to make some changes over here so in feature I'm going to write test the login functionality of orange HRM using data table simply to distinguish uh, from a previous feature file I'm changing the name and simply I'll put 
uh, in scenario outline as well and outline keyword is not required here uh, scenario is fine and I'll remove the examples as well and uh, user enters instead of username and password simply what I'm going to write here is credentials credentials using data table data table and uh, in the same way guys uh, last time we have implemented using examples keyword using pipelines we are passing the data so in the same way I'm going to use in the data table as well and I'll show you the difference so I'll put the data over here because in this particular step I'm passing the parameters we want to parameterize this particular step right click uh, pretty format so this is the difference between scenario outline or using examples keyword and data table here we are passing the data in particular step whereas in examples keyword we are passing the data we are passing in the scenario outline we are passing the data using examples keyword and this will be applicable for the entire test so we can use uh, this uh, data in any of the uh, steps which we have written over here so here you can see we have uh, uh, written username over here pa password so we can use this username or the fourth step as well and fifth step so anywhere we can use okay where is the data table we have to use the data in particular step only okay so in here you can see in the third step in the second step user enters credentials login credentials using data table so here we have to provide the data and uh, the first part is uh, the first way we have seen parameterization without examples keyword there we can pass only one set of test data in particular step or in particular test in particular scenario right uh, only one set of test data so this is the difference between parameterization without example keyword uh, parameterization using scenario outline and using data table so let's implement data table now so you can see uh, we have already implemented in our step definition like these are the steps user is on login page so here you can see I did not change the first uh, the given condition only I have changed the second step uh, even third and fourth are same so we need to just uh, define this step in our step definition file right so what I'm going to do in our runner class I'll uh, use try run as uh, true and I'll try to run our test right click and run as generate test now here you can see it shows uh, you can implement missing steps with snippets below so we have we are missing one step over here correct so because we have entered uh, uh, we have written one uh, new step over here user enters credentials using data table admin and admin123 because we are going to implement data table we are going to parameterize using data table so that's why we have written this extra step other three steps are already defined in our step definition so what I'm going to do I'll copy this snippet Or not required will uh, I'll show you how we can implement this so simply I'll copy this bin at least and just couple of lines of code these two lines and I'll uh, show you how we can implement inside the code of this uh, particular step so we go to our uh, login steps and here we'll define the when condition yeah so user enters uh, credentials using data table so this is what our step is uh, belongs to right uh, which we have written in our scenario now using data table what we are going to use we have to have one parameter data table like this either you can use like this or you have to import this data table from uh, io.cucumber.data table so just import this now inside this what we are going to use simply write uh, the steps which we have written earlier like passing the uh, username and password 
the selenium code which we have written like this but I'll tell you what we are going to use here we have to have uh, one data table we have here you can see we have we need to for uh, for data table we have to create a list of list of strings okay so how to create that like this list of like this we have to create list of list of strings and I'll give name as data and using this parameter name data table dot we have one method called cells we'll call this method okay guys so this will represent this will iterate the our data table okay and instead of using this uh, send dot send keys u name we are uh, we are going to use this data dot get index of uh, zero zero row and get zeroth column okay so here you can see in feature file we have this is this is uh, is the first row this is zeroth column this is first column so like this so zero through zero th so this is the first data correct and this would be the second data so zero zero and zero one uh, so yeah and data dot gate method is there zero index and dot gate the first column right so this is how we can implement data table we have to declare one uh, we have to create one data uh, using list of list of strings and we have to call this sales method to get the data from data table and simply using gate method we need to get the data right so this is how we can get the data now we have implemented this over here I think it should work so coming to this one and now our test will run for uh, uh, three credentials right so using this login feature couple of my uh, data we have and for data table one data sets we have so let's run our runner class right click and run as genuine test let's see whether it is working or not sorry we need to make the try run is equal to false and right click and run as JNA test browser is launched this is orange HRM application you can see it logged in with admin and the password so this is the first set of test data this is the second uh, set of test data I think this is using data table we'll see here you can see admin and and we'll see the third set of test data here you can see so we successfully executed three scenarios so let me show you uh, right click and uh, refresh you can go through go go to the project uh, reports and this index.html just copy this put it over here and here you, you'll see uh, test the login functionality of orange hrm using data table so just expand this so here you can see credentials using data table so uh, we have seen it logged in with uh, admin and admin123 and uh, using scenario outline we have couple of parameters admin and admin123 and admin1 these are the wrong details uh, wrong credentials so that's the reason we are not able to log in but since we have not put any assertion so that's why our test cases are passed and here you can see in JUnit uh, as well uh, the results so this is test the valid login test the valid login using data table and test the valid login a couple of times using this login feature using scenario outline right so this is how you can implement data table
in your uh, script so the difference already we have discussed so this is uh, applicable only for particular step and you can provide a uh, number of uh, I mean uh, uh, the complete data table and you if you want to access the second row third row based on that you can make the changes in your login steps using this uh, index uh, using gate method okay so the particular data which you want to execute so let me uh, impo uh, let me check in this code into github and you can get this in the description box of this video i'll provide the video uh, i'll provide the link in the description box so let me simply check in this code right click and uh, team we have commit data table changes data table changes commit and push and you can pass using uh, either you, you can use uh, strings or you can pass using maps as well so probably uh, we can see how we can use the maps later on in uh, in data table okay so this is all about today guys uh, so probably in the next video we'll talk about tags in cucumber so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye hello friends welcome back to automation testing insider.com so this is the sixth part of Selenium Cucumber BDD framework with Java. So today we are going to talk about tags in Cucumber. So mainly uh, this video is all about tags, how to use tags in Cucumber. So let's get started with agenda. So today we are going to talk about what are tags and uh, what is the purpose of using tags and how to use tags in Cucumber. And I'll show you at the last demo how to use uh, practically tags in Cucumber. So let's get started. Uh, so what are tags? So if you remember in Selenium we have used uh, groups, right? Grouping, grouping of test cases. Let's say we want to divide our test cases into different groups like uh, sanity, smoke, functional, regression. So these are the different groups we can divide our test. And we have group uh, grouping in test ng. So using that we have, we can divide our test cases into different groups. Here in Cucumber we use tags to divide our test cases into different groups so cucumber provided a way to organize your scenario execution by using tags in feature file we can define each scenario with useful tag later in the runnel file we can decide which specific tag okay we want to ex we want uh, we want cucumber to execute features and scenarios can be marked with tags so in feature file we have scenarios, scenarios outline and feature. So we can mark either a scenario or scenario outline or uh, a feature as well. So this is the simple syntax guys, uh, at the red symbol with some text. For example, at the red smoke test. So let's go to the next. So why we are using tags? Okay, so it looks simple when we just have one two or maybe five scenarios in feature file correct so it would be very easy if you have very less number of scenarios in a feature file however in real life uh, real life it does not happen for each scenario for each feature file under test we may have 20 40 or more more number of scenarios in a single feature file correct so in that case it would be very difficult to manage your test right what are the test cases suppose you want to execute out of 100 test cases let's say you want to execute only 20 test cases so it would be very uh, difficult to manage those 20 test cases like how we are going to manage so we'll discuss like how we can uh, what would be the approach so there may be represent they may represent different purpose like a smoke test regression test etc like the number of test cases uh, scenarios we have so how to manage the execution so the first solution is create a separate feature file and keep all the scenarios which you want to execute. So this is the one way you can do that. Uh, let's say you have 100 uh, test scenarios and if you want to execute only 20 or maybe 30. 
so what you can do is you can create a separate feature file and you can include all those 30 scenarios over there and then you can execute in that way but that would be very tedious process again you have to identify those test cases and you have to create a new feature file and uh, you have to execute all those uh, test cases in that way you can do that so that is not the recommended way so the the best uh, solution is using tags so example here I have given there are two more scenarios in a feature file we want to execute only one scenario as part of a smoke test so first thing is to identi identify the scenario that scenario and scenario is to tag with smoke test text at the beginning of the scenario so this is how you can do that so I'll show you practically how we we'll, we are going to implement so here you can see how to use tags in cucumber so these are the different ways guys uh, here I have given the example as well so I'll provide this in the description box of this video as uh, this video as well and I'll provide uh, notes as well in my blog automation testing insider.com so there are two ways you can implement a scenario or scenario outline level and the second one is feature file level so let's discuss first scenario uh, at scenario level both will be the same like whether you are going to use scenario or scenario out outline so these are the different ways how to uh, set up uh, tags in your uh, feature file okay so my eclipse is already open here and if you remember we have created a project in previous uh, sessions cucumber project so let me expand this and inside src test java we have runner file to run our test cases and uh, we have step definition over here and inside src test resources we have already couple of uh, feature files uh, here you can see this is login feature uh, using scenario outline so guys if you missed the previous sessions uh, so please watch uh, from the beginning from part one so you can understand better like how we have created the project how we have set up the pom.xml how we have uh, uh, done the parameterization so all these stuff I have already explained in previous sessions so please refer those uh, videos there are uh, five videos uh, before this so let me simply create one more feature file for uh, uh, tagging so file and here I'll give tag example or tags demo dot the extension uh, should be feature click on finish so by default you will see this template so here you can see uh, in the default template you can see at the red tag is assigned over here at feature level and here you can see at scenario level as well and this is scenario outline so here we have see uh, you can see the tag this you can give any name uh, as per your requirement you can give a particular uh, test a different type of test name or you can give your uh, as per your requirement so let me de delete the uh, the default contents and here I'll write a feature the first thing so here I'll write tag demo or using of tags in cucumber so this is my feature and I'll define scenario as well so feature colon this is how you have to write the feature and this is the way you write the scenario here I'll give tags example or tags demo and I'll write so this is uh, Uh, better I'll do uh, this I'll give scenario 1 we are going to have multiple scenarios so simply I have given like scenario 1 and given is this is scenario 1 I'm not going to write any uh, test case uh, simply I'm writing some given condition like this is scenario 1 and similarly I just copy this and I'll create other scenarios I'll create number of scenarios two three four five three three 
this would be fourth one four five and let's have one more uh, let's have one more scenario and this is the sixth scenario so in this feature file we have six scenarios and I have given a uh, given condition only I have not given other like given when and then because this is just for example so that's the reason I have created only uh, uh, one I have given only one keyword using one keyword like given condition this is scenario one this is just for example uh, guys I'm not going to write any script over here just to explain like how we can use tags in cucumber now the next step would be so the first thing is we have completed our uh, feature file we have written the feature file now we go back to this runner file and I'll see what is the status state of dry run so it's false okay so mapping what it does is mapping between feature file and step file if you have missed the previous uh, session on dry run and different cucumber options then you can refer I think that was the second video you can refer that so what uh, dry run does is mapping between feature file and step definition file so it will check whether uh, we have created the step definition file for corresponding feature file is not uh, or not okay and the second one is strict is there it will check if any step is not defined in the step definition file so let's go ahead with uh, dry run is equal to true so it will check whether we have defined all the uh, whether we have uh, created all the step definition file or not so right click and run as junit test Now here you can see uh, all the test cases got failed because we have we haven't defined uh, we have, haven't created the uh, different steps right we have six scenarios we have but we haven't written any steps for those scenarios so it gives proper message like you can implement missing steps with snippets below so simply I'll copy all these uh, codes you can manually write as well but uh, uh, this is the beauty of cucumbers that it will give it will create the method for you and it will give in the form of uh, code snippet so simply uh, inside this folder com dot step definition I'll create the uh, I'll create one more class text demo and uh, click on finish and here I'll provide all these steps and uh, we have to import given from uh, io.cucumber.java.en so just export uh, import it and remove the default contains whatever we have inside uh, this method the default uh, the, the method which we have created so just remove all these uh, contains Now our second step is ready. So here you can see guys uh, we have the same method name over here whatever we have defined in the feature file tax demo like this is scenario 1 so make sure the method name should be like this and this is the given condition this is scenario 1 so we have corresponding all the uh, tags over here uh, corresponding methods over here now let me run again with let me try the runner class again dry runner is equal to true now this time it should not give any error now here you can see six scenarios is uh, skipped six steps okay because we have just checked whether we have uh, covered all these uh, steps or not now our dry run is fine uh, I'll make it false now let's have a look the first example uh, what is the first thing is single tag how to use single tag so first thing what I'm going to do here is I'll assign particular uh, scenario with some tag so this is the symbol uh, at the rate and I'll give smoke test so this is my smoke test now how to use this in runner file correct so just go to runner and we have one more uh, uh, cucumber option so that is tax and use this bracket and inside that just write at the rate smoke test 
and we should uh, have one comma over here now here you can see tax is equal to smoke test so this will execute only one test case because uh, whatever test cases which are assigned with smoke test so in this case we have uh, only one test one scenario so let me run it now here you can see one scenarios one passed one steps one pass if you go to this J unit uh, section you can see scenario one got executed so this is how you can execute uh, uh, using single tag and uh, let me have a couple of more smoke test over here so now I have tagged a couple of scenarios with smoke test correct so t2 scenarios will be executed this time so let have a look now here you can see two scenarios got executed correct so in the in, in the same way you can tag multiple scenarios using tag now the second uh, example is we can use multiple tags as well so let's say suppose you want to execute uh, uh, there is or condition as well or condition or and condition also you can put so let's go ahead with uh, or condition so smoke test now I want a uh, sanity test as well sanity so two test cases two scenarios are marked with a smoke test and one scenario is marked with sanity test now let's have a look so how we can write we have this or uh, condition put or at the rate sanity test now it will execute a smoke test or sanity test so three test cases should be executed so let's have a look run as JUnit test now here you can see three scenarios got executed because it will search for a smoke test or sanity test whatever is marked with a smoke test and sanity test so here you can see two test cases are marked with a smoke test and one is with sanity now what I'm going to do here we have and condition as well and condition so we have to use and make sure guys you should use this in small letters so if let's say if you try with uh, capital letters or condition so I think it should give some initialization error so it it will not recognize if you write like or so it will give uh, expected operator uh, tag expression exception so it will read only the small letters and let me just put and condition over here now the second condition is and condition so this time there should not be uh, uh, scenarios uh, there won't be any execution I mean uh, uh, zero scenarios will be there I guess so I'll explain you why so here you can see we have given a smoke test and sanity test and here you can see in the execution zero scenarios why because it will search for uh, uh, tests which are marked with both smoke test and sanity test so this is the AND condition so in our uh, tax demo you can see uh, no test cases will marked with both the example right both both the test cases so what I'll do I'll create the third test case with both sanity and smoke so I have marked scenario 3 with both sanity and smoke so this time one test case should be executed right click and run as JUnit test now here you can see one scenario got executed so here if you, if you go to JUnit here you can see scenario 3 got executed so this is how you can use and you can uh, there is another example like you can combine couple of uh, test using or condition and this is the bracket and you can combine with another test like this uh, regression test should be co in combination with sanity or smoke test so like that you can play around with uh, different combinations now how to skip or ignore test so this is the one way let me show you
so we want to execute let's say a smoke test and not not sanity suppose we want to execute only smoke test and not sanity so it will search it will search whatever the test cases which are marked with smoke test it will execute only those test cases so let's have a look right click and run as genuine test now here you can see two scenarios got executed because two test cases are marked with smoke test so let me show you so this is one test one scenario and this is another scenario so these two are marked with smoke test and it will not execute this one because this is marked with sanity so that's the reason this got skipped now another example is skip particular scenario so how to skip particular scenario so let's say we want to skip uh, smoke test so simply write not keyword over here not smoke test right click and run as so it will not execute a smoke test so we have three scenarios let me have a look yeah so it will not execute these three scenarios the first second third and the remaining will be executed 4 5 and 6 because these are not marked with any other uh, I mean these are not marked with smoke test right so here you can see in genuine results as well scenario 4 5 and 6 got executed so you can use uh, uh, to skip or ignore you can use like that and uh, let's say uh, skip particular scenario so this is what we have seen and this is also we have seen and this is another way like how you can you can use couple of uh, things as well like uh, not smoke test and not so you can put couple of conditions over here and not let's say you don't want to execute a sanity test as well sanity test So I think this time also three test cases should be executed. Now here you can see three scenarios, three passed. Four, five, six should be seen over here. Scenario four, five, and six, because the first three scenarios are marked with sanity and smoke test. Here you can see scenario one, two, and three are marked with smoke and sanity test. So this is how you can uh, tag your uh, test cases guys with different combinations and feature file level so feature file level also we can tag so this is the second way so let's say I'm giving over here functional test so this is how you can give functional test uh, you can tag at feature level as well and just go to runner file and remove all these and like this at the rate functional test now it will execute all the test cases because we have tagged at feature level so run as JUnit test now here you can see six scenarios six passed here you can see all the scenarios got executed so it will override whether we have uh, at scenario level or not if we give if you have given over uh, feature level right if you have given uh, if you tag our uh, uh, feature file at feature level then it will execute all the test cases and here you can give condition as well and not and not at the rate a smoke test as well a smoke test like this you can also give so it will not execute uh, a smoke test apart from that it will execute all the other test cases so here you can see three scenarios got executed so these are the different combinations you can uh, practice, you can uh, create and you can uh, have different tags in your feature file. And just make sure we can have only one uh, tag cucumber options over here, only one and you can play around over here by creating different combinations, by giving the different combinations. So this is all about tagging guys, uh, so I'll provide uh, the examples over here in the description box of this video and I am going to write a blog on this as well so you can check out my blog as well and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos 
and in the next video i'll show you how to use hooks in cucumber so this is all for today guys and uh, yeah please like this video share this video among your friends and kindly subscribe this channel thank you so much have a nice day bye bye uh, sorry one second let me check in the code in github as well so right click team and commit i'll provide the github link in the description box of this video as well so tags tags demo committed of tags demo is fine commit and push hverma this is the uh, github password uh, username and you have to enter the password yeah now let me check the github yeah my github is already open here so just refresh it cucumber project I'll provide this link in the description box of this video. So here you can see tags demo committed. So you can check out the code over here. Yeah, inside this SRC test. So you can get the code from here. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.